adventure. My name is Commander Mark and I've got a really exciting lesson in store for you. I'm going to be teaching you how to draw trees. I'm going to make you or explain to you how to make one tree look closer than another and rocks look closer to you than some other rocks and I'm going to be using a magic word called surface. Metaman's here today and Metaman has some robots for us to be practicing our basic objects from around the house. We'll put them together and we'll build some really interesting activities. And Cindy the Green Dragon is going to visit us from the Green Mountains he lives in. And she's going to be drawing on the computer today. She's our computer expert and she's going to be up there explaining how to make some activities on your computer. So here's the materials you need for today's show. You ready? You need your drawing pad, your drawing pencil, your activity notebook so you can take some notes when Miniman explains how to build those activities out of the robots. And also, you need your computer sensitivity because Cindy's going to be having some fun on the computer. Get those materials together and I'll be right back. So you ready to draw today? You have your pencil and you're all loosened up. We're going to have some fun. We're going to conquer this flat surface and we're going to draw on 3D. Now the magic word to learn today is surface. And I'll tell you more about surface as we're going on. The idea of drawing surface is to make something look a little closer than something further away. So we're going to draw two trees. I'm going to make one tree look closer to you than the other tree. And the way we do that is we make that tree lower in the paper. To start with though, I want to explain surface how it looks on a simple table. Now you should be able to draw this simple table here in 30 seconds. We'll warm up with this object, doing it in 30 seconds. See, I'm getting my hands all loosened up here, getting ready to draw. We're gonna put two dots straight across from each other. We're gonna draw a real simple table. Put your finger in the middle, put a dot above and below your finger. Move your finger out of the way. Now warm up with these objects before you draw. It's a good idea to warm up with some foreshortened squares. And then we're gonna take the square and turn it into a simple table. Pull the sides down, the middle line's longer. Slant this to the left, slant this to the right, come in halfway. Now, I'm going to go really quickly because I know you know how to do this in less than 30 seconds. And then draw this to the left and this to the right. And of course, add some really quick shading. Now, this is a good warm-up exercise and I wanted to explain surface, why this is a good example of surface. See that point right there? That point looks closer to you than this point. It's the same object, but I'm making a near corner look closer to you by, look at this. It's lower in the paper than this point. This point is higher in the paper than this point. That's surface. Surface is the word to learn today. Let's move down right here and we'll draw our trees. Start by drawing the tree trunk. You can make it real skinny right here and come down to the root system. We'll draw a real simple root system. Now watch this. We're drawing roots. You can get really gnarly if you want to. You can make it really simple. You can just curve the bottom across. I'm going to draw kind of a fancy root system. See how it curves along here? Really. Not too fancy, but simple enough that you can draw it real fast. On the edge of the trees, we'll draw some grass tufts. Now see, this when you draw the grass tufts, this is a good exercise too to warm up as you go to the left, you go to the right, you go to the left, and you can make the grass tufts. And that's a good example of surface off also. If I draw a grass tuft right here, and a grass tuft right here, and one right here, and one right here, these little bushes or grass tufts look closer than this grass tuft. And look at this, if I draw even some more back here, we have some terrain going right here. We have some kind of foreground, some kind of texture on our ground, but we're using surface. This lower section looks closer to you than this section. Now let's draw another tree trunk back in the distance, a smaller tree trunk maybe, real sketchy. Come down to a root system. Now I'm gonna make this a really simple one. Maybe we'll just hook that around a little bit. See, that's kind of an interesting technique if you wanna add a little curve right there. In fact, you can even extend this out a bit. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a, a root coming out of the back right here. See how it looks like it's spreading on the ground? Now, branch up, branch up. Oh, hello, Cindy. How are you today? It's so good to see you again. But, what, I have a question. Why are you bringing these branches in here? Oh, because it goes with the tree. That's a good idea. You like examples, huh? Now, let me see what she says for a second here. This is a really good idea. See, this is a tree trunk and the tree branches off. Like these branches right here, they branch off and they have leaves. Now, Cindy, when I draw this, I'm probably not going to draw 
The branches as detailed. Dude, that has a lot. Okay, I'll make it green. I promise. Later on, I'll make it green. I'm gonna draw the branches first. Gotta get them all in here. Look at this. I'd like that simple table for the leaves of the tree. That was a bad joke, huh? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm entitled to two bad jokes every day. All right. I'm gonna now see what I'm doing. I'm just drawing round tufts for the balls of the leaves. A, a little curved surface there, and then for the back right here, I'll draw branches right back here too. Little round tufts, and then we'll draw the leaves. Now watch this, just like I did the little grass tufts. I even put another one. And in fact, I'm even going to draw a, a road coming through here to give you the idea that this tree's further away. Same idea as using the grass tufts. I'll put some loose leaves around here. Now, Cindy, did you notice how this leaf right here is different than these leaves? It's because well, this is kind of a cartooning effect. If you take your leaves and you just really loosely sketch them in, you give the impression that there's leaves there. You don't always have to draw every single leaf exactly. Now, some artists like to get really detailed. Some artists like to... <laughs> you like to eat your leaves, Cindy. Well, I don't think most... I don't, I don't like eating leaves. But most artists, they don't draw each single leaf on here. They just give the impression. Did you eat that whole branch already? <laughs> Cindy. I thought you were on a diet. <laughs> okay, another bad joke. All right. And then we'll draw the grass. Now see how I'm just giving the impression there's leaves. And I'll do the same thing back here. And here's something about when you add some color to your tree. Nice and dark up underneath here. Nice and dark. Nice and dark. Add some leaf tufts here. And then also when you're drawing the leaves onto this little round ball, this tuft, this group of leaves, make it a little more detailed, a little more pencil line in here, a little more darkness to give the impression that there's more leaves in here and it's shaded. It gives this area a highlight up here. Okay. You want to blend that in a little bit right there? <laughs> you like to participate, don't you? You look nice and green today, Cindy. I had to tell you that. You've been eating lots of green trees, I suppose. I don't see how there's any trees left up where you live. You must eat a lot. <laughs> okay, Cindy. I'm going to shade the left side all the way down. Nice and dark right along here. And also over here on the left side. Real loose and sketchy. Then you can clean it up later on. Now, you can add rocks to this. In fact, I will. I'll add a rock right here. A little curve. See that rock, Cindy? And then I'm going to watch this. I'm going to make use of that magic word surface. That's our magic word for today. Cindy. Surface, right? Okay. We're going to add a rock back in the background. See how this rock is further away? And I'll even make a smaller rock way back in the distance back here. I'll make a couple of them. But see how this rock right here, this rock right here, looks closer than these rocks because this rock is lower in the paper. See, here's the, the height of the paper. This rock is lower in the paper. And I'm going to even put another one way back here in the distance. Another one. And you can fill up your whole foreground if you want to. You can put more trees in the background. I'll put a quick tree back here with some quick leaves and darken it in. Put some grass back here. And you can do that as much as you want. Okay? See how I give the idea of surface. This is lower and lower. It gets higher up on the paper. Draw, 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 practice your drawing. Use surface, it really helps create that depth in your picture. It makes your picture look much more three-dimensional. When you're practicing, use that magic word. What is it? Surface. Cindy, why don't you take your, right here. Just blend that. You like to draw, right? And I like to draw. But you know what? There's not a special club just for us people who like to draw. And so you know what I've done? I've designed a special club just for you. It's called the Secret City Club. Each week I have a drawing or activity I want you to complete. And when you're done with it, put it in an envelope and mail it into me, and I'll make you an automatic member of the Secret City Club. Get your pencil and paper ready. If you want to join the club, I'll give you the address in a second. This week what I want you to do I want you to design, to draw, to create, to use your imagination, draw your own secret city inhabitant that lives on the moonscape. Sounds pretty exciting, huh? Well, here's the address you send your moonscape inhabitant to. Send it to Secret City Club, Post Office Box, 444, Moraga, California, 
94556. Now, as soon as you're done with your activity, mail it in to me, and I'll make you an automatic member of the Secret City Club. You know what? Cindy did her robot and her activity, and she's a club member now, too. <laughs> <laughs> I like that robot Cindy drew. She's the computer expert. Expert. Take a look at this. This is some examples, some drawings that some kids have completed, and they're club members too. Now here's Wald Asner. <laughs> I can't pronounce his name. He's an Aldo Fred, and these are. Uh, Betty's Moonscape Inhabitants. Now take a look at this. Here's Craig's Moonscape Inhabitant. It's of an elephant with wings. Take a look. Want to see one more? All right. And here's a robot that John sent in. John was about six years old. Look at that. Isn't that cute? As soon as you finish your club, your Secret City Moonscape Inhabitant, send it in, and I'll make you an automatic member of the Secret City Club. Let's take a look. I think Meta Man's making some kind of robot activity for us. Da, 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 da. I'm Commander Mark, and I'm here to say, practice your drawing every day. Draw trees or flying saucers in the air. Don't forget your shading or your four shortened squares. <laughs> Commander Mark. Commander Mark. I want to learn how to draw. Hmm. I've never seen a robot with six arms before. It comes in handy when I am fixing my space vehicle or when I am playing three instruments. Commander Mark, Commander Mark, can I learn how to draw? Go away, curly head. He's gonna teach me. Can't he teach us both? No, he can't. No, he can't. Go away, go away. Oh. You're just a dingling. <laughs> These robots are a lot of fun. It's real easy to make them, too. All you need to do is look around the house and find anything at all that you can attach to some cylinders. These robots are sort of round, but you can make them square or actually any shape. Just use your imagination. This robot right here, I sprayed silver. And for his head, I used a plastic cup. I glued it on top so it wouldn't uh, fall off. For his arm, I used a curly wire, sort of like a cord that you might find uh, from a, an old telephone. And to make sure that the uh, cord could move around, I put a pipe cleaner through it, and that way I can shape and turn his arm any way that I want to. I also used the pipe cleaner for a curly uh, hair piece and also for his mouth. Then I found some silver uh, shapes here, like sequins, and I used the sequins for his face and also to suggest his costume. My little female robot, I used a lot of silver ribbon and curled it up make her uh, a very nice hairstyle. I even decorated her hair with a, a silver uh, piece of paper here. I think this is a doily. I sprayed that silver. Now I covered her body with tin foil. And then I put an apron on it, some darker foil, and even sprinkled some silver. I even pasted a piece of material and put a bow on it so it looks like her apron is actually tied right to her. For her face, I used some buttons, and for her nose, I used the bell. For my bug robot, I used some bottle caps. I also took some wire and curled it around and made some very wiry eyebrows, eyelashes. I gave him a little pointed cap, and for his arms, all I did was use some straws and cover them with tin foil and put some bells on the end of his arms so he would jingle. I sprayed him gold and painted, or, uh, painted and also glued some stars to his front. Now all you need to do is look around the house and find anything at all to begin creating your robot. 
I'm going to show you what I did here. I had this paper cylinder, and I just began to punch holes all the way around it. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to create this uh, robot. Let me do some thinking here. Use my thinking cap and uh, have some ideas. Since I already put some corks in here, maybe uh, these corks can become the robot's arms. Now, let's see. I should do something with the top of his body. Hello, Meta Man. How are you today? Well, I'm doing real well. I'm making a robot. You know the Secret City handshake? Sure. <laughs> so <we> do. <laughs> You've done that before. Did Cindy show you that? Yes, she did. How do you like my robots? I have to question for you. What? I heard you. I was over here doing my drawing lesson. Did you see the lesson? Yes, it did. And I was talking about surface. But yes. I heard you over here talking about Commander Mark. Oh, yes. Well, <laughs> I... what were you doing? Well, one of these robots is you, Commander. Can you figure out which one it is? One of these robots is supposed to be me. And, and this is this is an honor, Meta Man. Let me see. A living statue. It's not this one. Not this one. You know, I like this one because it has six arms and, and I could draw six different pictures at the same time. <laughs> this way you, you can actually draw the storm. <laughs> I'd draw more than the storm. I would draw six secret cities. Can you imagine that? Wouldn't that be exciting? Be six lot. secret cities at the same time. That'd be great. Well, I this like one. this little pointy head. This right is the one I thought it looked like you because the robot has a crane and uh, he's, <laughs> he's ready to draw. Uh, draw. <laughs> I like this. This is really neat. You're taking your imagination, your creativity. You're just taking simple things from around the house. Look at this. You have wire. You have a box of all kinds of tools. Like well, let me that. show you what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to stick a lot of these straws I have right into the top here. And Some kind of radar system, huh? That's a good idea. We'll make it a radar system. And what we'll do is... Uh, you can stick that right in there, Commander. <laughs> okay. And look, I got I'm it. going to put some pipe cleaners right Sorry, there. Sorry, I squished the end there. That's okay. He's going to be wired for sound. This wired is part of for his sound. robot personality. Or how about his robonality? <laughs> good <laughs> idea. Now, I'm going to just <laughs> stick right here. This popsicle stick this is kind of fun. and a funny face. And uh, give him Can I help out a suit of armor. Uh-oh, I'm having problems with the pipe cleaner. This is really interesting. You just expand with your imagination. You can build your own little robots. I like that. This is fun. How about some hair or something? That's a good idea. You have some computer paper right here. Some computer well, Cindy tape. would love it. She'd probably eat that up. Yeah, I think she would. This go. is really exciting. Meta Man, yes. you keep on inventing and creating like this. I really like these ideas you have of extending your imagination and taking to the sky's the limit for your imagination, right? I like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and take a look at some of the drawings the kids have finished, all right? Talk to you later. Here I am at the Secret City Gallery. Here's the first drawing. Four sent in this drawing right here. Really nice pencil drawings. Here's a robot. <laughs> Not a robot. This is a rowboat. Cindy was doing robots earlier, and it got me in the robot mood. This is the tree. He did some trees today. Here's Forrest's house. This is Forrest. This is supposed to be a breakdancing pig. I like that. And then the tree, I mean, an airplane zooming across the paper. And then he did a donut. Nice shading and good for shortening. Now, this same fellow, after he learned the magic word, remember what the magic word is? The magic word is surface. Now, once you get control over that magic word, you can draw in 3D like this. Take a look at how Forrest was drawing. This is just 12 days later after that first drawings you saw, that first set of drawings. Nice roadway. He used M.C. Escher as a guide for this. He studied some of M.C. Escher's work. That's an artist, M.C. Escher. Nice scoop right here. Nice little entrance, little windows and doors. This is really an excellent exercise to practice those magic words and to do research. Let's switch along to another drawing. Now here's Kimby's drawing she sent in. This is a robot. I get confused every time I say robot or robot. And then here's an airplane. And then there's the donut. And her, look, isn't that a cute pig? <laughs> a little curly tail coming up. Here's the house. And since we're drawing trees today, she did it another tree. Now, she made the club. She sent in her secret city building. I want to show you what this one looks like. The same girl, 15 days later. Take a look at this. The same person. Now, she really learned and understood that word surface because see how the road comes down and wraps down? This road is lower in the paper than the robot, and that makes the road look closer than the robot. Some really neat intricate design in here and some archways a window good shading here we're at the secret city mural i'm going to be drawing some more exciting things on the mural today we're moving up into the planet area of my mural i had the moonscape and i'm going to add a space station but i'm going to worry about the planet today i drew a forest of trees here to even illustrate more to you how important that magic word is that magic word is what remember what it is surface the new york tree is lower in the paper 
these trees get higher up in the paper and smaller as they go into the background. Now the idea of this part of the mural is to have a whole forest of trees across here and then to draw some kind of pond or lake coming through here and eventually I'll draw a waterfall coming down. So I'm going to draw one tree right here. I'm going to draw the tree trunk coming down. Now you probably wonder where I get all these ideas, how I have so many different ideas for all these different objects. Well, they're not all my ideas. A lot of them I research out. I go into a library, I look into books, and I have different artists illustrating. And good books to research into are encyclopedias in the library. If you look into those books, some of the best drawers, the best illustrators in the whole world illustrate those encyclopedias. It's a really good idea to get all those illustrations. You can copy them. It's a really good idea. You can copy some of Michelangelo's drawings. See, if you copy those drawings of Leonardo da Vinci or some of those really famous Renaissance artists, man, oh man, you'll, your drawing will really improve your drawing skill. It's okay to copy drawings because you learn lots of neat things from these different artists. They have different techniques and different styles of shading and drawing and putting the texture on. And they really have control of those seven magic words. I'm going to put a rock right here. I'm going to draw the whole forest through here. I'm going to draw rocks behind. Of course, I use surface again. This near rock is lower in the paper than that rock. And I'll draw the back of this rock. I'll put some shading. I'm going to use a thinner pen. And I'll put some shading on the rock so you can see the difference. And I'll put some shading on this rock, the left side. Some shading here. And also, I'm going to put some shading on the side of the tree to sketch it in real loose all the way down the left side. On the left side right here. Now, someone who has a really interesting shading technique, let me finish this right here, is this artist called Frazetta. He has some really interesting shading techniques, and also M.C. Escher, if you look at some of his drawings, he uses a lot of cross-hatching. Cross-hatching is when you take the lines, in fact, I'll draw a rock just so I can show you what cross-hatching is. There's a rock right here. Cross-hatching is taking your pen and just giving the whole rock a tone like this and then coming through and putting the shading in the other direction. You see what happens? You make this look really round in 3D. And I'm going to make some little shrubbery, some grass tone around here. And I'll draw another tree back in the background. And I'll draw some grass climbing up the tree branch. I'll draw another tree coming back here in the background. We'll make it a really dense forest. So if you had to walk through here at night, you'd have to have a lot of light, a big lantern or something to see your way through it. It's a real green forest. I'll add some more shading. You know when you're drawing trees way in the distance, it's okay if you take the whole pen, your pen and shade it the whole thing really dark and black back in the background. It makes that look like it's really way, way back there. You can't even see the detail. And I'll do another one really dark back here. And let me see here. I'll shade the left side of this tree. See how you give your forest some really nice depth. And oh, hello, Cindy. How are you? I missed you. How are you doing? You just like these green trees. No, don't eat this. This is my poster. This is my mural. Okay, I'm going to draw some trees, some leaves around here. Do you like these leaves, Cindy? Look pretty delicious, huh? Okay, I'm going to eventually I'll get around and make them nice and green. You can't help me blend this. I'm sorry, because this is ink. Okay, I'm going to put some tree leaves along here, little bunches of leaves. Where's your tree branches, Cindy? Did you already eat them all? <laughs> You're kind of hungry today, huh? And I'm going to put another tree branch right here. I'm going to put another tree trunk coming down. And I'm going to make this one a little more elaborate. Watch this, Cindy. This is a neat technique. It's called overlapping the tree trunk. This one comes in front and goes along like this. You have a library at home, don't you, Cindy? Yeah, this is well, excellent, excellent places for research. Yeah. Like totally awesome, huh? Well, if you go to the library, look in the encyclopedia under trees, and you'll see some really neat illustrations and neat techniques to draw different kinds of trees. I tell you, it's really fun. You go in there, you open those books up, and all those pictures you never noticed before will jump out and become real life to you, so you can copy them and practice them and use them. I'm going to draw another tree right here. Make it come up like this. I'll make it branch off. See how it branches off like that, Cindy? Just like the branch you brought into me and showed me. I'm going to put three, just like that one tree did. Okay, you have to move your hand for a second. Sorry about that, Cindy. And I'll draw some leaves, little bunches of leaves. And if they see how right here, see that? Nice and dark. I gave the impression that this is a round ball by putting more leaves on the left side than the right side because of the dark shading over here. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And the same thing right here. You're getting hungry, I know. 
How about putting one more? Let's draw one more right here. You want to draw? <laughs> okay. I can teach you how to draw. I'm, I Remember, I told you I was going to design a pencil that's big enough for you to hold. Well, you wait. One of these days, I'm going to have a giant pencil. I'm going to bring it in here, and you can join me drawing. I'm going to draw another tree trunk back here. You see how the whole drawing is taking shape? I'm leaving this area open for the pond to flow through. No, it's not going to be a blue pond. <laughs> Cindy, you cracked me up. You're pretty funny. I'm going to put... What color of water should I have? Not blue. This, this be yellow? Yellow water? What about a gold? Okay. Put some grass along the bottom. And then make sure when you're drawing these tree trunks, nice and dark underneath here. Nice and dark up here. Nice and dark up here. Draw to draw. Practice. Keep drawing. Draw your own Secret City mural. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming, Cindy. Commander Mark says anyone can learn how to draw, and Maryland Public Television now offers a 72-page book, Learning to Draw with Commander Mark. It's full of drawings and illustrations of the seven magic words, the 22 special art words, and tells how to start a local Secret City drawing club. The kit also has three non-toxic Commander Markers, a Secret City drawing pad, drawing... <laughs>